the one time in their lives. Yet, just the name of it may make you squirm and feel uncomfortable. It may be a subject you hate to discuss even with your own best friend. This is yeast infection in plain English. If just the words yeast infection make you feel like a loaf of bread, let's call it by its scientific name, candidiasis. Candidiasis is caused by candida, which is a form of bacteria normally present around the vaginal area. Now, you don't get this bacteria because you're dirty, germy, sexually active, or don't know how to take care of yourself as a woman should. No, bacteria happens. The whole world, including the world of your body, is full of bacteria. And when the good bacteria starts losing the battle with the bad bacteria, you feel the effects. This imbalance between good and bad bacteria can happen for a lot of reasons. You might be taking antibiotics or other medication for that sore throat you haven't been able to shake off, and it killed off some of your good bacteria. You might be undergoing hormonal changes in relation to your period, getting pregnant, or other factors. You can become vulnerable to a yeast infection because of hot baths, perfumed soaps, deodorants, or other products that break down your natural oils and protections. Sometimes being too clean can be a problem. Some of the symptoms caused by candidiasis can include an itchy feeling, a white-yellow discharge with a strong odor, a swollen and inflamed vaginal area, and itching or burning during sex, or when you're going to the bathroom, or even when you've been sitting around for a long time. One step that is both healing and preventative is to wear only cotton or silk underwear, not latex, satin, or nylon, so that area of your body can breathe properly. Don't wear underwear to bed. This is one of the best and simplest all-around preventions and treatments. Yeast infections are not STDs, so you don't have to be afraid to tell your mother. You may want to talk to a doctor, though, because if you just ignore it, the bad bacteria can multiply and cause worse problems. Fortunately, in this information age, we can all understand more about such common health problems and what to do about them, minus all the fear, embarrassment, and taboos.